Hi, I'm Bob Birch, Web Technology Specialist with NDSU Agriculture Communication. I've had a couple of questions lately about a quick and easy way to share photos that you've taken at an event with colleagues or even the public. And we've got a couple of options here at NDSU that make this really quick and easy. Google Drive and Microsoft OneDrive. So I'm going to show you how to do this in both platforms, and we're going to start with Google Drive. So as an NDSU employee, you have access to an unlimited space on your Google Drive through our Google Apps for Education license. And if you are not sure how to log into your Google Drive, go to www.ndsu.edu slash ITS and search for Google Drive and you'll find the instructions there. Once you've figured out how to log in, you can log into Google Drive and it'll look something like mine looks here. I'm already logged into my drive here. And in order to uh, share my images, I need a place to put them first. So to do that, I'm going to click the new button and create a folder and go ahead and give that folder a name. Now, if you're observant, you might have noticed over here in the left-hand menu, we do have access to Google Photos through our NDSU accounts. However, I not a big fan about of sharing photos in Google Photos. Uh, there's a couple of reasons. One, it's, it's a little bit hard to organize them, I find, um, to organize the photos in Google Photos. And then the other reason is Google Photos does compress your photos. So if you're trying to share full-size images, um, you're better off uploading them as files, which is the path that we're going to take here. So you can see my, my folder has been created in here, so I'm going to double click on that. Uh, to open it up. And now if I wanted to, I could create some subfolders just by using the new button again and create additional subfolders to help me organize the images or I could just dump my images into this uh, folder that I've created. If I want to just go ahead and upload images at this point, I could use the new button and choose file upload or even easier, I can just drag and drop them. So I'm going to open up my Windows Explorer here, take my images, drag them over here and those are going to be uploaded to my folder in Google Drive. There it is. There are my images. Now, how do I share it? Really easy. Let's go up to the breadcrumb trail here. Right click on our folder and you'll see a bunch of options including share. Now, share is handy if you want to share with individual people. You have specific people in mind and you want to add them one at a time. They don't have to be NDSU employees. Uh, you can use email addresses from people outside of NDSU, but they're going to have to uh, log in to Google Drive in order to see these and you're going to add them one at a time. If you want to share this with people with so that they can see it without logging in, or if you just want to have a link that you can email out to a group uh, and they can have access to this folder, uh, then we're going to use this other uh, menu item, get shareable link. So that's, that's what I find easiest for me. So once I do that, I need to turn link sharing on. And you'll see it gives me a link right now. But that link is somewhat limited. It says anyone at North Dakota State University, that means they have to sign into Google in order to see this, can view the images. If I want to change the anyone at North Dakota State University part or the can view part, I need to open the sharing settings by clicking this link right here. And now I can change the can view part to can edit. That would allow people to upload their own images uh, to, this, to this folder that I've created. Um, but it would still be limited to anyone at North Dakota State University and re would require a sign-in. If I want to get out of North Dakota State University, I have to click the More button down here, and then I can choose anyone with the link. No sign-in required. Um, and then I, if I go down here to the access area, I still have control of whether I want them to only be able to view the images or if I want them to be able to organize, add, and edit them as well. So let's leave it as can view only. We'll save that. Here's my link that I can send out via email. Um, and when somebody goes ahead and uses that link, this is what it's going to look like. No login required. Google Drive opens up for them. And here are the images that have been shared. Um, and they can double click on any of the images. And you can see it enlarges there. And if they want to download them, there's a download button right here at the top right. So that's all there is to it. Now, same process in OneDrive, very similar. So I'm logged into my Office 365. I've clicked on OneDrive, so I'm in my OneDrive. And now 
just like we did before, we need a place to put our images. So we're gonna create a new folder and give that a name. All right, so now my folder has been created. I'm gonna click on it to jump inside that folder. Same issue here, if I want subfolders, I click the new button again and uh, have some subfolders. A Little bit different if I wanna just upload files, I can just click upload here. But the same thing is true as in Google Drive. The easiest way, the quickest way is just to drag and drop. So here are my images again. I drag them over here and drop them into the OneDrive. And uh, in just a second, here it is. There are our images uploaded to OneDrive. So now, how do we, how do we share them? Again, similar to Google Drive, we have a share button if we wanna share by people one by one. And again, we can use email addresses to share with people outside of EdDSU, but they, again, they'll have to log in in order to see these. Or we can get that version of a shareable link uh, that we saw from Google Drive by clicking the copy link right up here. And here is my uh, link to share this folder. But if you notice down here, only people in North Dakota State, uh, North Dakota University system with the link can view and edit. If I wanna change any of that, I just click here. And now this opens up and it gives me some other options. I can change that to anyone. Now anyone can view and edit. If I don't want them to edit, I just uncheck allow editing. And a little bit of an added bonus here, I can set an expiration date for this if I want. So I can say, you know what, share these for the next two weeks, but after that, this link won't work anymore. So I apply my changes. Here's my link. That's, that's already been copied to my clipboard. Here's what it looks like if somebody uses that link. We'll paste it in here. No login required. Here are the images that I've shared in the image sharing folder. Uh, the person uh, who's accessing this can click on the image to see it. And then there is a download button here, this time up at the top left, so they can download that image and use it. So pretty simple process, easy way to, easy way to share images with using just a link, two options, Google Drive and OneDrive. If you have questions, please contact me. Be happy to help you out. Thanks for uh, watching this how-to video and have a great day.